Now the race for the last two places to the semifinals of the JFF Tier 2 League is now down to three teams with True Juice and Limehole Academy leading the way. True Juice put themselves further in contention with a 4-1 win over Falmouth United at the Spanish Town Prison Oval. Javon Basco, Damian Herrera, Daze Russell and Romain Hodman got the job done for True Juice while Falmouth benefited from an own goal. We've been on a good run for the, for the last three games. I think we have more possession at the ball. You know, we should have scored more goal, but you know, we give thanks for the victory. Limehall Academy sneaked out a stoppage time goal to get the better of Med Forest in a 2-1 win at Drax Hall. It was Med Forest who took the lead after 37 minutes through Delano Daly. However, a double strike from Damaris Sowell saw a comeback from Limehall. Sowell scored the equaliser in the 52nd minute before getting the winner two minutes into time added on as Limehall joined the True Juice on 24 points, one more than Med Forest. Early qualifiers Treasure Beach didn't see any action on the day as uh, match officials were a no-show for their game against uh, Hopewell United at the Breads uh, Sports Complex. We were here until 3.45. I got a call stating that the match will be rescheduled due to miscommunication between the referee and their personnel. I'm not sure of the person, but there was some miscommunication. Elsewhere, qualifiers Racing United beat Reno 4-2 to go top of the table. Tamar Francis scored a hat-trick as Baptista Lands outscored Portlanders 5-4. Albion Mountain came from two goals down to edge downs 3-2, while Brownstown got the better of Wadada United 1-0.